Hey guys, this is Dr. Daniel Sugai, board certified dermatologist. TikTok is a land of retinoid loving people because whenever I talk about a retinoid there, everyone gets excited, which I'm very happy about because I get excited about retinoid creams. Retinoid creams are great because they serve different purposes for our skin. It's a vitamin A derived topical medicine that we uh, can give as a prescription in the forms of tretinoin, tazeratine, other newer forms like a cleave. The very popular uh, retinoid, which is a newer generation, third generation synthetic retinoid, adapalene, can be found over the counter as 0.1% in strength. Before it was prescription, but now it's over the counter and the 0.3% remains prescription. So out of all the other types of retinoid creams you can get over the counter, there are other forms, retinol, retinol, retinol. Um, the retinol is the most popular, I'd say it's the most consistent in terms of its, uh, its benefits. And there's a lot of different ones that you can choose from. So I made a TikTok about my top five of 2021. And I just wanted to mention the one in particular, Ole Regenerous Retinol 24 comes in this nice, beautiful bottle. It is a very much the Ole aesthetic. I got it from Costco and it comes in a box like this when you get it shipped. And it's two for the price of one pretty much. It was $36 for two, which is a crazy deal. So I get my Olay from Costco when it's available. And my goodness, I hope they keep carrying it because it's a solid retinol to consider. Why is this different from the rest? A lot of times retinols can be drying irritating, can burn your skin, especially if you're a beginner to retinols. So uh, this is a nice retinol for beginners because it has a moisturizer look. Look at that, it's just pretty much a moisturizer. It's a nice creamy texture, um, rubs in very well. I shouldn't have wiped it on my hand, but um, if you just need a small amount for your face. So just dab a small amount, typically if it's a cream, uh, it's a pea-sized amount, I put a generous amount here. You just dab it on your face, don't forget your nose. You could even treat your neck and then connect the dots. And this is typically at bedtime because sunlight can deactivate a lot of retinoids. There are exceptions to that rule. This is a moisturizing retinol though. So if you have dry skin, dry sensitive skin, this is really nice. If you have oily skin, I'd say you still would like this because this has vitamin B3 in it. It has vitamin B3, which you know we all love. It's niacinamide. Niacinamide is great for being an anti-inflammatory ingredient, helps with acne, helps with um, bringing down redness. Just like my favorite retinoid is Alpha Ret by Skin Better Science, that has niacinamide in it as well. So I hope that this is rubbed in well uh, as I talk about it more in the video. But this is just a solid retinol. So this will last a long time. It, offers 24 hours of hydration supposedly. So this is uh, kind of unheard of to have a retinol that is moisturizing plus having the niacinamide in it. Plus it also lacks other irritating factors that are potentially irritating to your skin like fragrances or dyes. So this is very good for sensitive skin. I have nothing against fragrances for myself personally, but my patients, I do see some get uh, a fragrance, allergic contact dermatitis that can be proven with a patch test. Uh, it can happen. So uh, if you have allergies to uh, fragrances, you might want to avoid, like my, my other favorite brand is Rock. They do have fragrances in their products. So just be careful of that. Whereas this one does not. So very gentle on your skin. Also, why is this moisturizing? Well, it has a nice ingredient called dimethicone. People uh, do give silicones a bad rap, but silicones like dimethicone in a moisturizer is safe. It's fine from what we know. I do like it a lot, especially on my hand creams where it just blends in so nicely. This one has dimethicone in it. It also has my favorite humectant, glycerin. Very nice humectant that draws in and retains water. This one has it. Okay, but I really like how this feels on my face. It's a really go-to uh, moisturizer, especially in the winter weather when my skin is more on the dry side. So definitely consider this. But what does Dr. Sugai say? I'm gonna give this a four and a half shakas out of five. It is near perfect. If it was a prescription strength retinoid in this consistency, that would be really cool because you would know you're really hitting it hard because retinols are over the counter. They're much weaker than the prescription stuff I would prescribe you. Uh, so, uh, you know, th this is something for beginners, I'd say. It's a great start. 
there's a reason why this is on my my top five of 2020 so i'm going to give it four and a half shakas out of five or a nine out of ten so congratulations ole retinol 24. another plug in with for retinol um for retinoids in general it also decreases the collagenase enzyme which breaks down collagen as we get older or sunlight it can activate coll collagenases to break down and chew up your collagen and then you get saggy loose thin skin. If you want to increase your dermis, which is the second layer of your skin, the topping of the epidermis, you want to stick with retinoids on a consistent basis. Don't give up on your retinoid too soon because it, if you want to treat acne for, um, with your retinols, you want to give it about two to three months. If you want to work on fine lines and wrinkles and increase the thickness of your skin, um, it can also increase your uh, keratinocyte proliferation, increase your epidermis, your top layer of skin. If you want to work on those things, it's going to take about six months at least. And I've been on a retinoid for eight to nine years already since beginning of residency. So uh, that was when I started. And I usually say start on these in your mid 20s. You can consider it sooner if you have acne. And if you're having acne, um, you know, you probably want to see your dermatologist to tell you to guide you on which retinoid to use, because a lot of times time is of the essence for acne. You don't want to wait on those and you can get scarring a really bad scarring if you're not using the right medication for that. If you want something, just you want to have some fun, you want the happy cream, you know, retinoids, age 25 or late 20s on, it's a good time to start. Be consistent, it's a marathon, not a sprint, okay? So I hope you like this video, Dr. Sugai Reviews uh, series. I hope you're liking that series as well. Please like the video, please subscribe to the channel, please share with your friends, and I'll see you for the next video. Be safe and take care, peace.